and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a what i eat in a day i really like to watch these videos myself and i also like to make them so i thought i show you guys um what i eat today i try to keep it very like simple and realistic um nothing like too fancy going on but um yeah you see what i eat in a day in turkey so i already had my breakfast a typical turkish breakfast that i will show you if you follow me longer you know i eat this pretty much every day so there's nothing really new going on in my breakfast but yeah i will show you it anyway um yeah if you're excited for a new video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with that and don't forget to subscribe and i will first show you now my breakfast So this is my breakfast for today. I know if you follow me longer, it's getting quite boring because it's always the same. It is like a Turkish breakfast. So I'm having a omelet with a slice of brown bread. And um, this bread is actually really nice. It's from the Beam Supermarket. Um, yeah, really delicious. Then I got a coffee and a glass of water. I always try to drink enough water, especially in the winter because then I'm not so thirsty. And I just want to make sure that I drink enough during the day. Then we have some cucumber and tomatoes, a little bit of honey and also some olives. And this is very typical Turkish, I guess, olives, honey and vegetables with your breakfast. Um, so yeah, this is my breakfast for today. This is probably not the best angle, but um, yeah, it is lunchtime now and I'm going to make some banana pancakes. Super easy and I just love simple recipes because I'm not the best cook out there. So yeah, I will show you what you need. You need one banana, you need a little bit of milk, one egg, a little bit of honey, some flour, and I've got strawberries, which I'm so excited for. Um, it's strawberry season and that's also something that I learned here in Turkey. To eat vegetables and fruit in the season, if that makes sense. Yeah, I will show you how you can make it. It is very easy. So first you want to make like a mousse of the bananas. And I just use a fork for this. And as you can see, it's still a bit hard. So it's better if the banana is a little bit brown because it's easier. But um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you also need some cinnamon if you like that. And I'm going to add the egg. And that goes very well, as you can see. <laughs> Oh gosh. And then you're gonna mix it together. Then I'm going to add a little bit of flour, like this much. Again, mix it all together. And then the last thing is a bit of milk. And that's it. And that's enough for like one person, I would say. 
and I was not recording. I forgot to press the button, but as you can see, I made small circles, not really circles, but um, yeah, you want to make sure that they are small, otherwise you can turn them really well. And make sure you put enough oil in the pan, otherwise they will burn quite quickly. And don't put the fire too high, so yeah, very easy. Then I'm going to cut my strawberries. I really love strawberries, one of my favorite fruits, I guess. So this is how the pancakes turned out. I'm going to add some strawberries. I want to make it all cute, but I don't know. And what I like about these pancakes is that it's like all natural sugar. Of course, there's sugar in the banana and in the strawberries and in the honey I'm going to add but you don't need to add any like extra sugars if that makes sense so yeah I'm going to add a little bit of honey on top of it so this is how it turned out I think it looks amazing so yeah let's try it This is probably my favorite lunch ever and especially with the strawberries it just makes it I don't know very fresh I love it so for dinner tonight we are having a typical Turkish dish this is kudu fasulye which are uh, beans in like tomato sauce with vegetables and also some chicken um, I eat it without chicken though and with that we are having a Turkish rice and I really really love this um, I think I showed you it before in a video how you make it but um, it's very easy I didn't make it by the way my husband did and then we are having also some onions so yeah a typical Turkish meal for our dinner so for an evening snack I'm having these um, nacho kind of crisps I'm not really sure. Uh, in Dutch we call them bugles. I bought them by the Beam Supermarket and they're really nice. They're like cheesy but not too cheesy if that makes sense. So yeah, this is my evening snack for tonight. And then the last snack of the evening is a orange. Um, I really like this, really nice and fresh. And I know I ate a lot of fruit already today but um, yeah, I really like it. So my last snack is a orange. Mm -hmm. 